Welcome to another training session of the Cymatic Manager. Today we will see how to establish communication between S7300 PLC and DT200S extension module using Profibus communication. Before starting this session please subscribe my channel to stay connected with me. First we have to connect the CPU and ET200S module via Profibus cable and we can access the CPU using Cymatic USB-A2 cable to connect with PC. First we will open Cymatic Manager and create a new project. Now go to the PLC menu and click on the Upload Station to PG option and select CPU 315. Now all data blocks from the PLC will be loaded into the PC and project will be created in Cymatic Manager. We will go to the Hardware Configuration menu as you can see here PLC rack with CPU 3152 DP is already created. Now we have to configure Profibus DP to do this there are few ways in Cymatic Manager. We will click on the Net Pro Configuration icon. Here you can see the communication configuration of the CPU. Here we will click on the DP and select Insert DP Master System and click on New button and click OK button. Profibus DP is created automatically and available to use now. Now just have to click save and compile. Now we will go to hardware configuration menu and arrange the Profibus mask to DP. We have write the order code of the ET200 module which can be found on the side of the device in the search menu and now we just have to drag and drop the module on the Profibus DP and select the Profibus address for this device I selected address 5 for this device. As we have selected address 5 in program we have to select same address on the ET module using the DIP switches. Every DIP switch have a certain value as you see in this chart so if we have to make address 5 then we have to turn on the switch 4 and 1. 4 plus 1 equals 5. Coming back to hardware configuration we can see I address and Q address or inputs and outputs address. In edit menu you can see this module. Has 16 inputs starting from I0.0 up to I1.7 and 16 outputs starting from Q0.0 up to Q1.7. We can add some symbols in this menu to these addresses. Cymatic USB A2 cable can be used to load the program in the CPU using MPI port. Now we can download blocks in the CPU. After downloading the program you can see communication between CPU and ET200 module is established and there is no bus fault. Now coming back to the Cymatic Manager and we will add a programming block and do some programming to force some outputs in the ET200 module.
Now we will download the programming block to PLC and go online to monitor the program and change the CPU mode to run by turning the switch to run mode. As you can see the Profibus communication is established and we can turn on the outputs in the ET200 module. Hope you liked today's video session. Please subscribe my channel to stay connected with me. Till next training session goodbye.